Hello and welcome back to EA UFC career mode on PS4. Alright, so we have won the Ultimate Fighter and now we're coming up to our first professional fight in the UFC as a just a fighter, not on the competition. We're on the prelim card against the judo fighter. So we're gonna do some training first and probably in the fight game plan. We're gonna go for striking because this guy's like a ground game fighter. So I've got to attempt some missions here in this training game. So I've got to block him from doing... I'm just doing the left stick bit here. I haven't actually got to stop him from trying to escape. Just got to hit the left stick in the right direction when it tells me to. Easy enough. Oh my god, there's like five steps to this one. I think the better your submission game as well, the less steps you have to take in order to, you know, put the submission on and um, complete it. There you go, got a black belt on that. Tie pads. Kicks. I'm going to focus mainly on attributes, I think, to start with, with these training game points that you get, and then... So I've got a good foundation, a good base to fight with, and then I'll focus on purchasing new actual attack moves. There we go. Stay brutal with those leg kicks. Keep it up. Use your feet, use your head motion, and dodge those strikes. Okay, so dodge my opponent. Strikes with flicks. Perfect angles. So I just gotta whenever he throws a strike at me, dodge it by flicking the left stick in the direction away from the strike. It's not that difficult, apart from that one. Moving backwards is probably the easiest way to do this. Normally a thousand points is all you need to get black belt. And I've got way past that already. You'd expect it to probably finish by now if that's the maximum you'd need. Yeah, that got me a black belt. Right, it's normally three mini games for each um, fight. Training, training in between fights. So let's spend these points. And um, this guy's a submission guy we're going against. So I'm gonna kind of maybe put on a few defenses um, for my submissions, and then right, I've got my punching speed there. There's a the power for each hand. Maybe go up speed a bit. Speed doesn't cost that many points. You, said, you can see on the left of um, where it actually says the start, the punch speed right there. On the right of that it says 12. That's how many points it costs to increase it. So I'm going to probably... There we go. I've only got foot 12 points left to spend. And maybe kick speed. Yeah, why not? Okay, that'll do us for now. Let's advance with that. Save. And we'll go into the fight. Hopefully knock this guy out. And work our way up the card for the next um, fight. Hopefully, we get in the main card. I think we're on the actual undercard, so it's not even counts as the prelims. Oh god, it's shown us the fights that were on the card. Yeah, we're the second fight in the whole um, card. Make it to the UFC. It's what every martial artist dreams of, you know, to lace up those gloves for the first time, to be able to step foot on that mat and uh, put on a show for the great fans of the UFC. Look at that uppercut. It is a special moment, and it's a moment I've worked hard to make become a reality. And the UFC has given me a purpose in life, you know. It's made my dream come true. I'm young, I get to travel around the world and compete in front of millions of combat fans, combat fans like myself. And that's what it's like, I'm living the dream and I can't wake up. I don't want to wake up. <laughs> it's Conor McGregor there. He's got a strange taste in suits. Coming up next, it's a lightweight matchup between Cyclops and Mountain. I'm so pale. I can't see any definition in my skin there. Fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. 
Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding professional record out. You can see my banner there behind me. I've only got one sponsor, and that being the UFC. So it doesn't look that impressive just yet. I will probably skip these intros in future. I'm just going to see that first one, see what my banner looks like. I've got some UFC shorts on as well. Alright, so this guy's probably going to want to take me down because he's a judo style fighter. So we'll just um, wait the jab. Avoid any takedowns. Oh, he's hit me in the body there. Hit me hard. Maybe some work on some more defense same um, stats. He does a good job parrying that strike away. Right, stamina's draining a bit. I haven't dealt that much damage. I'm just hoping to catch him with a lucky shot, maybe. Do a combination here and there. Ah, too late on the defense. Try and get up. Nope. Trying to stand up when he just after he throws a strike, after I blocked it. I think that's a good open window to try and attempt to get up. There we go, I'm getting up now. Stamina was low that time. Whoa! He caught me there. Oh! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Two kicks to the face there. Went for the takedown just trying to recover and he actually hit me with the kick when I was, I was going in for it. Alright, we're doing some damage there with the jabs and straights. Just missed with the right hand. And the less stamina he's got as well, the more damage he takes. So we can kind of like just make him miss and counter him with a few jabs, straights. Just over three. <laughs> oh, he's got me again. I've got him down. Let's try and just get in a better position so we, we're we not in danger of being um, submitted. He's not actually defending any of these, these sub transitions. Maybe his, his, his ground game isn't actually that good, even though he's de set as a jiu jitsu fighter. Right, his stamina is pretty damn low. Right, I blocked that transition. Let's get him mount. Let's try and submit him. No, he defended that. Soften him up a few strikes on the ground in this in this um, mount position. Alright, defend that. Let's see if he goes for another. I've also got the game plan as well for my head strikes to deal more damage. Oh, come on, you can't stand us up when I'm in the mount. Referee, Mario Yamasaki letting us decide down again. Nope, too late in the defense. I think I figured out as well how to change the clock speed to speed up, but I also put it back up to normal again because I was playing around on exhibition mode. So um, I forgot to put it back to speed it up, which is probably better for career mode because you don't want to have a lot of long fights. I'll probably edit this fight down if it goes the distance. Oh, he's got me again! No way! My head defense is awful. <laughs> Seeing as I'm not regenerating the stamina, I'm going to go for some strikes on the ground. Right, I'm getting some stamina back now. Defend that. My head's still badly damaged. I need to recover that as much as I can. Don't really want to be standing up until my head's damaged is healed. Throw some shots on the ground. Let's get some stamina back while he's throwing strikes in the mount. Oh, we got some stamina there. Let's throw some elbows. Some big elbows. 
Cyclops with the left. Let's defend that. Only got 30 seconds left. Show some shots, some big elbows. I think we stunned them a bit. Let's push it up again. Okay, we hit him quite a bit. We need to get some stamina back to finish him though. Oh, we got him in the last eight seconds. Okay, although the plan there was to actually knock him out on the feet. He was doing a lot more damage to me on the feet. So. His ground game actually wasn't that good. He wasn't really threatening me with it. Wasn't throwing any submissions, transitioning me, wasn't flipping me over. Probably the toughest fight I've had so far in the career mode. Round one TKO. Okay, so it tells you here as well who got the awards for knockout of the night and stuff. So we didn't get one. That was the fight of the night. So there was no submission, so there's no submission of the night. If I would have got a submission there, I would have won an award for it. Okay, so what do we unlock here? Rewards. New ability unlocked. Chess master. The ability unlocked. Marathoner. Carved the, carve the wood. Different abilities, game plans you can apply to your fighter before the actual match. And you get, I think they are fans at the top top left. Fight completion, you get 379 fans. Knockout win, you get that many. First round victory, you get those that amount of fans. So we've got 20,000 fans now. Nothing is like an MMA victory. It's like winning the lottery seven times in one day. You just can't stop winning the lottery. It's a feeling for me personally, it was a feeling of just validation. Saying that, hey, this crazy lifestyle, getting punched in the face from your friends, getting kicked, getting choked, all the grueling hours of practice, of sweat dripping off your face, all, all that sacrifice, this is the reason why. I, I can't really describe the feeling, but I'm on a different level for a few days after. It's the biggest burst of emotion that anyone can ever feel. A lot of guys just scream or they get up on the cage and they just let it all out and, you know, and take in that energy of the, of the crowd that's chanting you on, you know. This is nuts. He just ran out of the cage and ran right into the crowd. You can't explain it. It's just awesome. Congratulations, man. You won your first fight in the UFC. No UFC jitters either, man. They usually get you every time. Congratulations. I think you have a very bright future. I think there was some jitters. What up, homie? It's John Moraga here. Congratulations on your first win in the UFC. Great fight. Can't wait to see your next one. I'll be rooting for you. Al rato, Holmes. What's all this then on the right? Tells me all the stuff that's happening in the in the UFC in general. Opponents beating each other, not in that really. I need to pay too much attention to. Right, so we we actually got some um, new abilities there to put into the game plan. We've only got we can only still access one though at a time. Just want to quickly check out what they are. Uh, we got. What do we get that one? We got Chess Master. Your advancement prompts appear quicker during submissions. Okay, so you can submit quicker. Carved, carved of wood, improved recovery time from health events. Okay. And recover stamina faster while moving. Probably keep the heavy hands for now. Try and get the quick finishes while we're still fighting against opponents that aren't too dangerous. Although we got in quite a bit of danger in that last fight. Knocked down, I think, two, two times and stunned about three times. Alright, let's see how our next opponent's going to be. Let's back up out of this. See the fighters. Uh, it's another ground fighter, Jiu Jitsu. This guy is. So he's going to have thrown a few submissions, probably. The last guy was Judo, which is more mainly different types of takedowns and also ground control, but Jiu Jitsu is like, very submission based. 
Let's get this train out the way. Right, Wrestling. Here we go. So I've got to do the commands it tells me to do. Make my way to the top. Nice, work in there. nice and quick. Advanced stand up. So I've got to keep kicking him. Shit, do you need a thousand points for this? Because this is going up quite slow. Work those angles very nice. Is it better if I just spam kicks? <laughs> no, probably not. Because I need to actually hit him. Probably not going to get the best score on this one. Nah, that was a terrible score. Purple belt. Oh well. We can take a few of them here and there. Just not getting 100%. So we're just copying the strikes it's telling me to do. Oh, the button didn't do the attack, so I had to press it again. We threw two of them out. Okay, I'm gonna put some um, skills into like defensive stuff. Maybe blocking, let's go down to the bottom, get that to 60, and then we'll do some, uh, what's these? So I think the punching power is all, works on the ground as well, you don't need to have extra points for ground strikes. So like, chin health, that's important, because I got stunned like a few times in that fight. Stamina, let's get this up a bit. Movement, I think that's the speed I move at. Got a crap load of points to spend actually, endurance. What's the difference? Endurance is that body? Yeah, that must be body. No, that's body health up there. Well, what is endurance? Maybe that's how fast you can recover. Does it tell me? It doesn't tell me anywhere, does it? Alright, so we put quite a few points in defensive stuff down there. Up there quite a bit. Let's go for the um, I think I might go for some um, kicking stuff. Like right leg kick power. Get some leg kicks on him. Slow him down. Put some punch speed in again. Can't put any more points into a um, power of punches. Let's do some kick speed. So we can throw kicks in and out nice and quick. Alright. That'll do. I don't think there's too much that we haven't seen in the career mode that's left to see. It's mainly just like train, fight, train, fight. You know, there won't be any other mini games that I don't think we haven't seen, like any strength and conditioning or. You know, maybe go into different camps. Coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between Assassin and Mount. Skip the instruction again. It's gonna be the same every time, so we're not missing out on much. Right, this guy is a jujitsu fighter. Oh, and he's got good defense straight away. Okay, I'll throw him two strikes, he's blocked them both. Let's go for some body shots as well, I think, this time. Oh, I've got some spinning kicks there, I didn't realise. Okay, he's getting me on the stand-up quite a bit. Okay. Got some body shots in there. Okay, let's defend a bit. Because I don't want to be on low on stamina and taking shots, because they hurt more. Uh, I need to work on takedown defense as well, I think, on terms of attribute points. So I definitely pressed that quite early. He's going for the submission. Crap. Didn't, didn't even defend that. Tries to defend the attempt and it's too late. Right, we're out. Let's get back on our feet. I've done a few good shots on the feet before we got taken down. <clears throat> He's probably going to be spamming um, submission attempts on the, on the ground. Now we landed a few shots there. I need some more power as well. Being in this weight class as well, it's hard to generate a lot of power as a lightweight. Right, we're doing some good combos here. Okay, 
Yeah, definitely defended that, yeah. Alright, he's got some low stamina, so let's maybe work his body a bit. So he's getting away too quick. So that's another thing we need to spend points on, I think. Um, movement speed. Just to keep up on our opponent when he's hurt. Otherwise, he's recovering too much. Got a good uppercut in there. He's blocking Everton here. Got some good shots in there. He's being unpredictable, that's for sure, and that is important. Mountain with the lead hook. Look at this. Too late on the takedown defense. So look for a submission attempt. He might attempt again. Try and get up. Yeah, his, his ground actual control isn't that great. It looks like Cause both times he took me down. I caught up pretty quick. So in front of. Quite a few shots here. Stunned him. I've got his health down quite a bit on his head. But also, I've also run out of stamina. Okay. Come on, let's try and rush him. Oh, he's landed some shots on me there. Rocked him. Defended that. Nice. We hit him a few times there. I think he's still stunned. Finish him with elbows. We got him. Nice. We landed quite a few good shots as well after he was rocked. On the way down, I hit him with like, I think, mean, three shots in total. So you've got to risk yourself quite a lot with the ground stand up. You've got to take shots to throw shots as well. I think the actual height of my fighter was quite short for this weight class. For the most of the opponents have been taller than me by quite a few inches. It's the elbows. It's good that you always end up in mount as well when you actually knock an opponent down and jump on them. So you're in quite the best position you probably can be. No knockout of the night there. I wonder if you actually have to get a flash knockout. You know, we actually knock him out on the feet to get um, an award for that. No submissions again. I'm only probably going to really be attempting submissions against opponents that are not great on the ground. Oh, it's got my damage report on the bottom left. So, like, total career damage. The bar hasn't filled up just yet, so it doesn't look like I took too much damage yet. That'll probably end your career early if you take a lot of damage. What's up, man? Nice job. You got that win. Very impressive. I saw some good things in there. Couple things we need to work on, but that's all right. Very, very good job. Keep that mind right. Nice work. I'll talk to you soon. Hi, I'm Forrest Griffin, and that's an incredible winning streak. I've never done anything like that. You, therefore, are better than me. Congratulations. <laughs> Forrest was the champion at one point. What's he talking about? <laughs> what, he's never won two fights in a row? Okay. Alright guys, I'm going to leave that part here, and um, we've got two fights in that that part, probably going to maybe aim for like three fights in the next part, I might edit it down so there's not as much training, so we can get three fights into the next part. Alright, thanks, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next part, see ya!